A construction worker hurt in a lightning strike is still recovering today. The same strike killed another man working at the Pembroke Pine City Center yesterday. CBS Force Tiana Jones is following the story for us. She joins us live from Pembroke Pines where that work has restarted, right, Tiani? That's right. The Pembroke Pines Fire Department hasn't released the name of that man who was killed on this site yesterday. But as you see behind me, the work goes on. Construction crews were back to work on the Pembroke Pines City Center on Wednesday. One day after a lightning strike killed a worker and injured another one. At the time of the strike, a former firefighter was nearby. William Kelly says he heard the lightning. It was crackling. It was sizzling. Um, very distinct. I knew that it was bad and it was close by. He was right. First responders say the workers were laying rebar when the lightning struck. At the time, there was no rain, just lightning when the 34 year old man was hit. His injuries were very significant. It appears that it might have been a direct hit. His co workers performed CPR as paramedics arrived. They immediately knew the severity of the situation. He noticed uh, an entrance and exit wound, which also can signify a direct hit, um, but it can also mean that it would ricochet off a metal object. At the hospital, people who knew the man who died were visibly upset. A spokesperson for the city center project along Pines Boulevard near City Hall released a statement saying, Our thoughts and prayers are with the families of the two construction workers involved in today's unfortunate accident. The matter is being reviewed by the proper authorities, and the contractor on site is cooperating in that process. The takeaway for many from this deadly strike when you see or hear lightning, find shelter. People need to take cover and get indoors. It's nothing to fool around with. Now, the other worker complained of an injury to his hip. He was taken to the hospital. He was conscious when they did transport him. We're live in Pembroke Pines, Yanni Jones, CBS 4 News.